Welcome to the Alora Home Health Vlog. This is a spot where you can get thought leadership, information on topics that matter to your agency today. Okay, so we're diving into some fascinating insights today. Yeah, we're going to pull out the really important stuff. Think of this as your shortcut to understanding what's going on in home health right now. Exactly. It's all about those key takeaways that you can actually use. Picture this. Okay. You're a home health professional, right? And you just finished up a visit with a patient, someone who really needed your care and attention, you know? Yeah. You're back in your car, getting ready to head to the next appointment. Right, right. But then, boom, you've got this mountain of documentation staring you in the face. Oh, yeah. You're trying to remember every single detail, hunched over your notes, feeling the clock ticking away. I've been there. It's like this pressure cooker of a routine, you know? Definitely. Makes you wonder if there's a better way to handle all this paperwork. It's a feeling that so many healthcare professionals can relate to. Oh, absolutely. And the data actually backs this up. We're seeing that home health clinicians can end up spending a huge chunk of their day, like up to a quarter of it, just on documentation. Oh. Which is wild, right? That's a lot of time. But here's the thing that's even more concerning. Uh, Around 70% of home health clinicians are saying they're experiencing burnout and they're linking it directly to this endless cycle of paperwork. It's Mm -hmm. like a massive drain, not just on them personally, but on the entire healthcare system's ability to actually deliver good care. It's true. When so much energy and time gets sucked up by these administrative tasks, it really takes away from the heart of healthcare, right? Mm. Connecting with patients, providing quality care, and even just feeling good about the work you're doing. That's exactly what we're going to dive into today. We're talking about how artificial intelligence, AI, is starting to transform how we approach home health documentation. Interesting. And this isn't just about like making the paperwork a little bit easier. It's about a much bigger shift, you know, a shift towards a more intelligent, more responsive, more human-centered kind of care. So in this deep dive, we're going to explore the major ways AI is changing this crucial part of home health. Sounds good. It's a really promising area, especially considering those challenges we just talked about, those really real pressures on home health professionals. So where do we start unpacking all of this? Well, let's kick things off with something that might sound a bit futuristic. Okay. But it's quickly becoming a reality. I like futuristic. (laughs) Okay. So get this. Automated data entry. Okay. Imagine this. You've just finished a home visit, right? Mm -hmm. And instead of immediately reaching for your laptop, you simply talk, you speak your notes aloud, you know, on your way to your next patient. And by the time you arrive at that next appointment, those spoken words have been automatically transformed into text in the patient's EMR. Wow. No typing, no racking your brain, trying to remember every little thing. Yeah. The documentation basically takes care of itself. That's a huge time saver. Mm -hmm. I mean, being able to just speak your notes and have them accurately documented, Mm -hmm. that's a game changer for busy home health professionals, especially those juggling multiple visits in a day. Oh, 100%. And we're not just talking about your basic voice-to-text software here. Right, right. This is next-level stuff. We're talking specialized tools like Amazon Transcribe Medical or Nuance Dragon Medical One. I've heard of those. These platforms are built specifically for medical language. They actually understand the context of what you're saying. Okay. So let's say a nurse says patient's blood pressure rose 250 over 90 after they missed their morning medications. The AI doesn't just transcribe that sentence word for word. It can recognize that that blood pressure reading is high, link it to the fact that the patient didn't take their meds, and maybe even suggest a follow-up reminder about that missed dose. See, that's the key difference, isn't it? It's not just about transcribing words. It's about understanding those words and their implications and then being able to trigger a response that could potentially improve patient care. Exactly. And the early research is really promising. There was a study in 2023 published in the Journal of Medical Internet Research, Uh and it found that these AI documentation assistants were able to cut down on data entry errors by a whopping 45 percent. Wow, that's significant. And they cut the time spent charting by half. Think about that for a second, especially for home health professionals who are often seeing six, seven, eight patients a day. Yeah, yeah. That time adds up quickly. Absolutely. Meaning they can spend more time focused on their patients. Exactly. Getting back to that human connection, which is really what it's all about. Right. And it's not just about working faster. AI documentation also makes things a lot more accurate. Okay. 
How so? Well, we all know that when humans manually enter beta, mistakes happen. I mean, a simple typo can change the meaning of a medical term completely. Oh, for sure. A misplaced letter can make a huge difference. Like writing hyperglycemic when you meant to write hypoglycemic. Yeah. AI helps to catch these kinds of errors by checking terms against a massive database of medical knowledge. So it's like having a built-in spell checker, but for medical terms. Exactly. And the result is cleaner, more reliable patient records, which ultimately means safer care. And probably a lot fewer phone calls back and forth trying to clarify things. Oh, definitely. Now let's switch gears a little and talk about another area where AI is making big waves. Predictive analytics. Predictive analytics. Yeah, so home health professionals, they're already really good at picking up on subtle changes in their patients, right? Yeah. A shift in mood, a slight change in vital signs. They're like detectives piecing together clues about a patient's health. They have a lot of experience and intuition. But AI can take those observations and turn them into statistically backed predictions, making their intuition even more powerful. Okay, that's interesting. I can see how that would be helpful, especially in a field like home health, where you're often relying on observations and subtle cues. Right. AI can analyze tons of data, more than any human could ever process. Right. Things like EMR notes, data from wearable devices, even things like local weather patterns. And patterns. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Okay. It uses all that information to spot patterns and maybe even predict a health decline days or even weeks before it might be obvious otherwise. So it's basically connecting the dots in a way that humans might miss, mm -hmm. right? picking up on subtle connections within a huge amount of information. Exactly. For example, think about UTIs, urinary tract infections, in elderly patients being cared for at home. Early signs, like maybe they seem a bit more confused or agitated, those can be easily missed or attributed to something else. Yeah, especially in older adults, those kinds of changes can be subtle and easily overlooked. Right. But AI can connect seemingly unrelated bits of information, like maybe their smartwatch shows they're not sleeping well, or their EMR notes mention increased agitation, maybe they're going to the bathroom more often, and use all that to flag a potential UTI risk, you know, much earlier on. That's amazing. So instead of waiting for things to get really bad, yep. you can potentially intervene much sooner and prevent a more serious situation. Exactly. And there's actual proof that this works. Johns Hopkins University did a study that showed that AI-powered monitoring resulted in a 30% reduction in UTIs in home health settings. 30%? That's incredible. It got wild. This not only saves money, but more importantly, means these patients don't have to go through the ordeal of a hospital stay. That's a huge win for everyone involved. And this predictive power of AI goes beyond just infections. It's also changing how we manage chronic conditions, like... Let's say a patient with diabetes has been showing a trend of rising glucose levels for a few days. Okay. The AI can alert the care team and be like, hey, maybe we should adjust their insulin dose or schedule a checkup before it turns into a full-blown crisis, you know? It's all about being proactive, staying ahead of the curve, and preventing small issues from becoming big problems. Absolutely. Now let's talk about another really important aspect of home health where AI is making a difference. Right. Bridging communication gaps. Interesting. How so? Well, it, you know, it, there's a significant chunk of the population in the U.S. who don't speak English fluently, right? Yeah. And in healthcare, clear communication is absolutely critical. Misunderstandings because of language barriers can have, I mean, really serious consequences. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Especially when it comes to things like medication instructions or describing symptoms. Exactly. Now, we have traditional translation services, but those can be slow and expensive, not really practical in a fast-paced home health setting. So where does AI come in? AI is coming to the rescue with these real-time translation tools that are designed specifically for healthcare. Okay, I'm intrigued. Think of apps like Canopy Speak or Medibabel. They use super advanced AI algorithms that have been trained on all this medical terminology to instantly translate spoken and written language. So it's not just your generic translation app. It's yeah. specifically tailored to the language of medicine. Exactly. That's key. Because those general translation apps they often miss the nuances and specific terms used in healthcare, which could lead to some pretty dangerous mix-ups. Oh, yeah, for sure. Medical terminology is its own language almost. Right. So picture this. You've got a home health aide who speaks Spanish, and they ask a patient, ¿Cómo ha sido su dolor hoy? Which means, how has your pain been today? The AI app can instantly translate that into English for documentation. But even more importantly, 
it ensures that right there in that moment, the patient understands what's being asked in their own language. That's huge, because even the slight mistranslation could have big implications for the patient's care. Exactly. Like, oh. imagine if the phrase high blood pressure was accidentally translated to elevated stress in another language. It could totally change the patient's understanding of their condition. Oh, wow. That's a really good point. So these AI-powered tools are helping to ensure that everyone is on the same page, literally. Absolutely. Now let's shift gears again and talk about something a bit more visual, smarter wound care. Okay, wound care. That's a critical part of home health. Oh, for sure. Especially for patients with chronic wounds. Right. Traditionally, keeping track of how a wound is healing has been pretty subjective. How so? Well, think about it. You've got nurses using rulers to measure the wound, taking pictures, writing down descriptions like, wound is about two centimeters in diameter, has some yellow drainage and red edges, you know. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's relying a lot on human judgment and observation, which can vary from person to person. Exactly. It can be tough to catch those subtle changes day to day using just those methods. Right. So how is AI changing that? AI is bringing a whole new level of accuracy and objectivity to wound assessment. Okay. There are these amazing technologies now like tissue analytics and net health that let nurses use their smartphones along with AI algorithms to analyze wounds with incredible precision. So they're using something as simple as a smartphone camera to gather data. Exactly. That's pretty ingenious. Right. All a nurse has to do is snap a photo of the wound and the technology can automatically calculate things like the surface area, pick up on early signs of infection that might not be visible to the naked eye, even automatically score the wound based on standard assessments like the Braden scale. Wow, that's impressive. So it's taking a lot of the guesswork out of wound assessment. Exactly. It provides a much more objective and data-driven approach to wound care. Which ultimately leads to better, more informed treatment decisions. Exactly. And this kind of objective documentation also has practical implications when it comes to dealing with insurance companies. Oh, right. Because insurance can be a whole other hodl in healthcare. It really can be. But when you've got an AI system meticulously documenting a wound's healing progress with clear measurements and visual evidence, yeah. there's much less room for debate about whether a treatment is working or not. It takes away that subjectivity, the back and forth that can happen when things are based solely on human observation. Exactly. For patients, this can mean fewer denied insurance claims and faster access to the treatments they need. That's a win-win both of the patients and the healthcare providers. All right, last but not least, let's touch upon a topic that might not be the most glamorous, but is super important, compliance. Okay, compliance. It's the not so fun part of healthcare, but definitely crucial. Oh, absolutely. You see, documentation in healthcare isn't just about recording what care was provided. Right. It's also about making sure everything is done by the book, following all those complex regulations and guidelines. Which can be a minefield. Oh, it definitely can be. Even seemingly small mistakes, like a missing signature or using the wrong billing code, can turn into major headaches for home health agencies. Yeah, I can imagine audits, fines, denied payments. Exactly. But here's where AI swoops in to save the day, acting like a super efficient compliance assistant. A compliance assistant? Yeah, it scans all the documentation in real time, looking for any potential oversights or inconsistencies that could cause trouble later on. So it's like a safety net, making sure nothing slips through the cracks. Exactly. For example, imagine a nurse documents that they gave a patient insulin, but they forget to record the dosage. Oh, that's a common mistake. It happens, but the AI system can flag that missing info and be like, hey, don't forget this crucial detail. So it's helping to prevent those little errors that can have big consequences down the line. Exactly. Or let's say a physical therapist bills for a 45 minute session, but the recorded start and end times in the system don't match up. The AI can spot that discrepancy and prevent the claim from going through until it's fixed. It's like having a second set of eyes, constantly checking for potential issues. That's a great way to put it. And beyond the financial benefits, think about the impact this has on the home health workers themselves. Right. When AI is running in the background, constantly checking for compliance issues, it takes a huge weight off their shoulders. Right, that constant worry about making mistakes. Exactly. They can focus more on their patients and less on second-guessing every note they write. That peace of mind can make a huge difference in job satisfaction and burnout rates, which, as we mentioned earlier, are major concerns in healthcare. So, as we've seen in this deep dive, 
AI in home health isn't about replacing the amazing people who provide that care. Right. It's about making their lives easier and helping them provide even better care. It's about using technology to empower and support the human element of healthcare. Exactly. By tackling those mountains of paperwork, helping to spot potential problems early on, and making communication smoother, AI is allowing home health professionals to really focus on what matters most, caring for their patients. It's a really exciting shift from a reactive approach to a much more proactive and preventative one. Absolutely. And while there are always things to consider when adopting new technology, like data privacy and making sure everyone is trained properly. Of course, those are important aspects. The evidence is showing us that these AI-powered tools are making home health data easier to collect, safer to keep, and most importantly, more focused on the needs of the people involved in the care process. It's a shift that's happening right now, quietly transforming how care is delivered in homes across the country. So the next time you see a home health worker using their voice to record notes or checking an AI-generated alert about a potential health risk for their patient, remember, this isn't just some fancy gadget. It's a game changer. A game changer that's improving lives one step at a time. It really gets you thinking about the future of healthcare and how AI will continue to shape how we deliver and receive care. And, you know, this deep dive is brought to you by Alora Home Health Software. And they're really all about being that comprehensive solution for agencies, you know? Yeah, like that one platform that you can manage almost everything from. Which is interesting because Alora seems to really want to keep the whole industry in the loop. Not just about their software. Right, but about all the latest developments and regulations and, you know, even just the news that affects agencies. They really are a top provider of home health software for both skilled and non-skilled agencies. And when they say complete agency management solution, they mean it? It really is designed to help everyone from the CEO to the caregivers in the field. Head over to AloraHealth.com or give them a call at 1-800-954-8250 for a free software assessment. Until next time. See ya. Bye.